My name's Guy Mowbray. I'm joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position. We've got a game coming up for you from Serie A. Sue, what are your expectations from this? Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. This is how the hosts line up. Evan Endica plays alongside Gianluca Mancini as the centre-backs. Lorenzo Pellegrini plays alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And they're going with two men leading the line. Here's how Empoli line up. Yeah, it's a 5-3-2 or a 3-5-2 if you like. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball, but then the wing-backs should drop off when out of possession. It's just whether they can get up the pitch consistently enough to help provide the width to their attacks. An attack of genuine promise now. Options available in the middle for the lead now. And the referee has given a penalty. And the spot kick is seen as sufficient punishment. No yellow card. Yeah, and I can understand the frustrations. He's lucky not to get a card there. This for 1-0. Well, if there were any nerves, they didn't show. A well-taken penalty. Well, let's see this again. The goalkeeper anticipates he's going to go central. He doesn't. Makes him look a bit silly in the end. Male. And able to come away with the ball. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. Has to be. It's not away yet. But that will do it now, because the flag's up for offside. Paredes. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. This to level it, and ready for it coming his way. Yusef Male, promising looking attack this. Oh, could be a chance here. Oh, that's not properly away. Well, that promising attack has been stopped. Paredes, now Dybala. Just needs the composure now. It's in, two to the good. That little bit of buffer. And it's just a matter of keeping concentration now. Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back, and he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. And that whistle brings the first half to a close.